Hello everyone, we're Roughly Dia here and welcome back to uh, my channel to a brand new type of video actually and you probably can already tell from the title of this video what I'm going to talk about and what I'm going to show you guys but I am still pretty excited and as you can see I am dressed up in pretty uh, festive um, looking because you know there is this big holiday that's uh, like 12 days from um, today when I'm recording this and uh, or maybe 13 it depends on where you live but yes I am going to finally open my very first advent calendar and I'm going to do it here on my channel so uh, before I get into the whole opening of the calendar I thought that I should present it to you guys a little bit more and uh, you know talk a lot they'll talk about the whole advent calendar opening thing and um, why, I'm, why I am so excited about it so first off this is the advent calendar that I'm going to open here on my channel and as you can see this is a toy related obviously my channel is all about toys so a toy uh, advent calendar and this is uh, a Funko, um, Funko Pop or Pocket Pop uh, advent calendar with the Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas theme which is honestly one of my I know it's it's uh, basically part of the Disney um, like franchise because it was uh, produced if I'm correct by Disney but if I have to choose then it's probably my uh, most favorite Disney movie and of course I am a big fan of Tim Burton and um, all of his um, wonderful work and whatever movies he did and uh, Nightmare Before Christmas is really special to my heart because I was like four or five years old when I first saw it and um, I immediately just felt attracted to it and I really really loved it so yeah I chose this advent calendar as my first ever toy advent calendar to open here on my channel now uh, I wanted to tell you guys a little bit of a backstory or a uh, behind the scene story uh, to this and why I'm only starting to open this calendar now so if you are not interested in this you can just go ahead and skip to the part when I start opening it but I just felt that I uh, should talk a little bit more about this and uh, that you guys uh, know the reason so um, first off I'm going to start off with the fact that yes as I said before this is my first ever toy advent calendar until now I since ever I was a kid, uh, I only had like chocolate, uh, you know, advent calendars where you get a piece of chocolate with some, uh, you know, Christmas related little figurines. Um, I'm not going to say printed on it, but you know what I'm talking about uh, on the little chocolate pieces. And uh, that's that. Well, I do know that when I was a kid and ever since these type of toy calendars, or you know other kind of calendars because they are more uh, like uh, cosmetics and jewelry and go go ahead you can put on a whole endless list of what type of calendars there are there out there um, but yeah these type of things only became like popular um, a few years ago I guess I don't know I, I kind of discovered them like five or six years ago when the whole um, toy market started uh, getting um, you know the blind bags and blind boxes of, of toys and that's kind of around the time when these uh, type of calendars appeared on the market if I am correct and uh, that's since then I was always uh, interested in these and I always wanted one but uh, you know these weren't like available over here and they are also like expensive <laughs> so I always uh, skipped every year and thought that okay in the next year the next year now finally this is the year when I was able to get one for myself and I was debating for a long time uh, what type of calendar should I choose because uh, honestly most of the toy related advent, advent calendars um, again they are really expensive and this one again was really expensive um, but at least over here but um, none of them are like really into like none of them like really fit my my interests or my um, I'm not really interested in the themes so um, like I know that there are like uh, like Harry Potter and Star Wars and um, I'm not sure what else 
there, there's quite a few of them available, but I'm not really interested in those, like Dragon Ball Z, not a fan of those uh, movies or uh, anime or what not. So it was hard to find me, and I was debating on this one or um, the Pokemon calendars, because those are really cute as well, but I have a bunch of Pokemon figurines already, and I can't display them on in my room because I don't have free space for them, there's just a huge box, box behind me uh, full with uh, Pokemon toys, so I was like, you know, not really leaning towards it, and those were more expensive actually. So I, uh, in, th in the end, I ended, uh, I uh, chose, ended up choosing um, this one, because as I said before, Nightmare Before Christmas is really special to me, and uh, yeah, I, and you get a figurine for each day, because some calendars like only include like uh, little accessories for some days, or uh, you know, like, um, cardboard pieces and stuff and I think that's kind of cheap especially for the prices that you pay for the calendars so yeah um, I am really glad that I was able to get this now why I am only starting today which is day 12 opening this um, we are on the 12th of that December and this video will be up today so I am recording it today because only today it was that my calendar arrived I have ordered this uh, in November, actually in the middle of November, and uh, it said that the estimated delivery time is at, at the end of November, and I was, you know, really excited that I will be able to start uh, recording this and, you know, just record a video every day, upload it to YouTube, like daily opening the advent calendar, and it will be so much fun and something super new to my channel and exciting, and I was looking forward to it, but... As soon as we got closer to that estimated delivery time, um, the date kept pushing forward and it moved to the start of December and then again moved and it moved and honestly I thought that it would not even arrive uh, till Christmas and I thought that okay, if whenever it arrives, uh, if it's until the health of the, you know, the basically the advent calendar countdown, then I will open it. If it arrives after the health time, I will just, you know, skip it and put it away until next year. But I guess I got lucky because today is actually the the health uh, time and it arrived today. So I just thought, you know what, I'm going to open it. And I'm going to upload uh, the opening from day 1 till day 12 today in this video. And after that, <laughs> I will open them daily and post them daily uh, as uh, as I wanted to since the beginning so it's a little bit of a bummer and it did not work as I wanted to but whatever it, it, it is what it is I'm going to go with it and uh, we just in we are just going to enjoy this calendar and we'll see how cool the little figurines are I am excited I hope you guys are as well so um yeah, I'm just going to turn the camera around now so that you guys can see it better. And uh, yeah, we are just going to start opening um, basically the first two rows of this calendar and we'll see how cool the figurines are. So let's get started. So here is a close-up of the calendar's box. This is the front of the box. And as you can see, we have a big, big picture of uh, Jack Skellington here in the front with a him wearing the Santa Claus or Sandy Claus outfit and over here we have some examples from uh, the, the little figures how they look inside uh, we have Sally Sandy Claus of course or Santa Claus and Jack in his uh, like regular outfit and over here as you can see it says Tim, Bur Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas up there it says Disney we have a nice uh, bow little decorative festive look to it and it says Funko Advent Calendar Pocket Pop. And over here it says 24 uh, piece Advent Calendar Vinyl Collection. And it says so in the different languages. And I really like the whole design of the box because we have that like kind of uh, candy cane going all around the box in this festive uh, red, green, and white, um, you know, like stripes. But 
inside we also have this frame that has little skulls on it so you know it's basically the double uh, side of the whole Nightmare Before Christmas you know it's kind of like a Halloween movie but it's also like a Christmas movie uh, at the same time so it's a really fun um, fun little uh, movie if you haven't seen it yet it's a really old movie but uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of people has already uh, seen it. This is how the back of the box looks. So you get a closer look how the calendar looks uh, when you um, open this flap. I will do so in just a second. And it says basically the same things. And uh, we get the same three little figurines. So they aren't really teasing a lot of the figurines. Only three of them or maybe four with the Santa um, Jack. And there's also like a website, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's from the Disney and the Nightmare Before Christmas. I am not sure exactly when this calendar came out, it's not like the newest one, I'm sure of that. But um, regardless, it's it's something really uh, fun and it's always like uh, in season too, so. And this back flap where you get the calendar, it actually has a piece of little velcro up there. And we, here we get all the days and that's actually like the Christmas town back there, if you can see that. And, you know, little presents representing each day. Now they do go in rows, as you can see, so I don't have to choose, I mean, I don't have to search uh, for the numbers. And we can just get into, uh, like, opening the whole thing up, or actually the first two rows, as I mentioned before, the first 12 days. Um, so yeah, what are we waiting for? Uh, let's get into this and let's start opening this calendar. Okay, so I'm going to start off and going in rows as uh, it should. and going to start off with day number one over here. I hope you guys will be able to see. Uh, I moved my camera a little bit closer and I will show you guys uh, each figurine as we go. So day number one. It opens up quite easily. Oh, and they are actually in little blind bags, so I think I'm going to need some scissors for this. If my camera will just focus, I'm not sure. But it does. And, okay, so the first one, the number one, we have um, Jack Skellington, I'm pretty sure. This is him in a... Uh, uh, yes, it's from the start of the movie, I just remembered, when they are singing This is Halloween. And here he is in his uh, disguise um, as the Pumpkin King, of course. With a pumpkin on his head. This is how it looks from the back. I will take uh, pictures of each of these individually and uh, show it to you guys up close. Uh, but yeah, this is really, really cool and it's super cute. And I do think... No, you cannot move the heads, like the like the regular Funkos, the large ones, you know. You can move the heads on those, but you cannot move the, so on these little ones. Okay, so day number one is the Pumpkin King Jack. I'm going to put it here if it would just... There we go. I'm going to lean it against there. I hope it I won't knock, knock it over. Uh, day number two. Okay, day number two has a different colored bag. That's interesting. It's a white one, as you can see. And let's see who this is. If I can manage to open the bag. There we go. Okay, so day number two. I don't know if you can see it. There's white in there. It's zero, the little ghost dog and he is super adorable look at that happy dog face with his little nose that's glowing basically it's a little uh, jack-o-lantern as you can see it has a face on it super cute little floppy ears and he's of course flying because he is a ghost dog that's really awesome i really love this one super cute so that's day number two. Day number three is another blue bag. So maybe they are going like blue, white, blue, white. I'm not sure. We'll see if my theory is correct in the next one. Day number three. 
Oh, it's the mayor. It's the mayor of Halloween Town. Here we have the mayor. And of course, uh, if you saw the movie and you know, the mayor has... Um, oh, he's actually missing one arm. What the hell? <laughs> uh, is it inside the bag? No, it's not inside the bag. Okay, that's that's a uh, weird and pretty um, unfortunate um, little error, I guess. Uh, okay, <laughs> he's missing one arm, as you can see over there. Yeah, a little bit of a uh, error. Uh, so yeah, the mayor has two faces. This is his happy face, and this is his sad and worried face. If my camera would just focus. If not, it's. Uh, I'm going to post the picture anyway. So yeah, guys, we'll be able to see it a little better. Otherwise, a really cool figurine, but I have no idea what's up with that. <laughs> I have never seen uh, one of these effective ones, although I did not open any of these um, tiny calendars. So again, a little bit weird, but let's just put it them like that. Okay, moving on. Day number four. Yes, this one is also a white bag, so yeah, blue, white, blue, white, that's how the bags goes. I hope none of the other ones will be defective because that's kind of a uh, rip-off, considering these, this uh, calendar was, wasn't cheap. Okay, so day number four is Oogie Boogie, or the Boogeyman. And it's in his like green uh, light because if I remember correctly, uh, I saw this movie quite a few years ago, if I remember correctly, but um, he was supposed to be like, you know, the sack color, that light, really, really light, like brownish, uh, yellowish color, but he is in this green color now, and of course he has that evil green on his face, really like the texture on it, it really does feel like he's made out of that sack material, and you can see the stitches, really cool awesome little figurine day number five another blue bag let's see who is day number five it's Sally okay super cute this is Sally uh, the rag doll or you know the living dead doll whatever you want to call her and she's carrying a little basket with some goodies in it for Jack, of course. And a funny little story with this uh, Sally Funko Pop. I actually do own this. Um, this is basically my only um, Funko Pop from the Nightmare Before Christmas that I own in like the regular big uh, Funko size. So uh, yeah, now I have the exact uh, same one in teeny tiny size. But she is super cute. I really love Sally, she's such a sweet character. I can really like relate to her. Uh, day number six. A white bag and we are done with the first row, as you can see. Who is in this one? Okay, we have another Jack and he is in his pajamas. There we go. Well, this is basically like the regular where he can, where we can see his face, Jack, because the other one is like the disguised um, one, and he is in his P PJs and he is reading a book, which is uh, I don't think you can see it on camera, but it says the scientific method. So he's doing his research, of course. And this is how it looks from the back. Super cute. Really like it. So those were the first six days. Now moving on to the second row, we have day number seven. If I can just... There we go. Day number seven. Day number seven we have... Who is this? Ah, come on, open. There we go. Oh, we have the clown. Day number seven is the clown with the 
the something face the terrific tear tear away face something like that if i can remember from, from the song i'm pretty sure he has like a regular name although it's not mentioned in the movie but as you can see he is a evil clown super cute by the way the little thingy on the hat i think those are like balloons and he's also uh, holding like a monocycle this is how it looks from the, the back super cute so that's day number seven day number eight day number eight oh i can already see through the bag it's one of those little toys i think yeah it's one of the toys um and i don't know what the name uh what the name is for this one but as you can see it's a pretty creep creepy again like a halloween type of toy kind of reminds me of a a twisted version of uh, mickey mouse in this black uh cape and tuxedo like looking uh clothes white green pretty creepy so that's day eight day nine is day nine oh it's um one of the three little um kids or like kind of like minions of of uh, oogie boogie or the boogie man um now I'm always always kind of uh, mixing them up. I know that there's like lock, shock and barrel. Barrel is the smallest one with the with the, like the skeleton um mask on. I do think this is lock. And shock is the witch one. I'm I'm curious to see if they come in the like the next few days the other two. Um but yeah, this one is the little like devil one. He's holding a a uh, slingshot as you can see and he's like <laughs> um hiding his hand because he's like promised something but you know keeping his fingers crossed that it does not count so yeah he's the little devil one and you, as you can see he has the devil mask on as well uh, you cannot take this off by the way so you can see the the regular face of this character but it's pretty cool let's see if uh, day number 10 is uh, shock Uh, by the way, you can comment down below if I'm, I'm correct with the names um, and if, if this is lock. And yes, I do think this is shock. Uh, the little witch one, witch girl. And of course she is wearing her mask as well. A green... Come on, focus camera. A green mask with her to go with her look, her little witch hat, her hair, and what is she holding? She, oh, she's also holding like a slingshot. The slingshot actually is like shaped like a bone, so I'm guessing that, that they are made out of out of bones. I do think she is wearing like gloves or something, because her skin color on the hands is different than her uh, like regular skin color you can see over there. So, yeah, then I'm guessing, um, oh, she cannot stand on her own for some other reason. Okay, I'm going to lie her down. So I'm guessing day number 11 is going to be uh, Beryl, the third one from the gang. Oh, let's just fly over there. No! Okay, so day uh, 11 is actually uh, another Jack Skellington, and this time he is in his regular, well-known uh, stripy suit um, look, and he is holding a little snowflake, as you can see. Oh, I love this one. He's awesome. So this is already the third uh, Jack Skellington we got, and I'm pretty sure we're going to get one more, which is him in the Santa outfit. Maybe that's for the uh, 24, the last one, uh, before Christmas. And for some other reason, he can stand on his own. Maybe it's the the surface over here, and it's a little bit more bendy. I'm not sure. 
Um, but we'll see when I'm going to take the pictures of them individually, if they can stand on their own or not. You know, Funkos have a big head, so um, they are kind of top heavy. And the last one, which is basically should have been just only today, this day. So this is the regular opening for today, number uh, 12. So let's see who number 12 is. By the way, sorry guys if my camera uh, stops focusing from time to time, but it's just a busy background. Here we have barrel, so yes, we did get the third little um, misfit, or I'm not sure what to call them, the, the little baddies, the little minions. And yes, he is wearing the, the skeleton-like mask, big black eyes, and he's wearing, a, of course, a skeleton type of suit and uh, a little um, lollipop that's super cute and it's all like Halloween colored as well and this is how he looks from the back so yes yeah, super cute we have barrel and uh, yeah he can stand on his own I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the surface over here but uh, yeah so that's uh, the Funko uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas Advent Calendar uh, mini pocket calendar for uh, from starting from day one to day 12 and these are all the figurines that i got i'm not going to choose my favorite one just yet i will wait to open all of the other uh, days and then at the end i will choose my favorite or favorite top three top five we'll see but until now i really really love all of them uh, with exception of the mayor because it kind of bothers me that he is missing one arm i have no idea what's up with that it's a pretty um, bummer I still have to search a little bit more um, through the bag but it was not in there so that's kind of a bummer but otherwise the other figurines are uh, really awesome and they are painted really nicely as well I didn't really see like any huge errors on them so that's pretty good so uh, yeah that's for uh, today and uh, the behind the story of this whole calendar thing and uh, leave a comment down below guys what do you think of uh, this calendar and if you think that this is a um, like a good idea to open a calendar like this uh, and uh, the fact that I will do so on uh, the upcoming next 12 days daily opening just one door and show it to you guys so a little bit of a short uh, video for uh, each day and uh, but you can comment down below uh, which one of these is your favorite so far and what do you think of them and um, yeah, go ahead and like this video if you uh, enjoyed it and uh, you can also subscribe if you haven't done that yet to be able to see the other uh, doors opening and what figures I'm going to get there. If you have already opened this calendar, please no spoilers in the, in the comments because I do want to get <laughs> surprised. And uh, yeah guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow with day 13. Bye!